Hello traders, uh, the title of the video is uh, Plain uh, Simple Step by Step for uh, Elliott Wave Strategies uh, that work. The financial instrument that we are analyzing today is the Euro British Power Currency Pair. I'm on the monthly chart and we're going to apply Elliott Wave Strategies uh, to trade okay, the Euro a British pound currency pair. All right. Few months ago, I have recorded a video about uh, the euro uh, dollar currency pair, and uh, during that time, we labeled this one as the first wave. Okay, stay with me, please. Okay, so we call this one. Uh, remember what I said to you before that the Elliott wave count is dynamic, is one step at a time with the information that we had at that point in time. We say this is the second wave uh, right there. All right, then we see, we say that, we said that uh, that was, uh, okay, the third Elliott wave right there, all right, and then we were saying that we were expecting the fourth wave to pull back somewhere in this zone, now is completed, or is it completed? The question, is it completed, a fourth wave? Because a fourth wave can be a consolidation, can be prolonged, okay, sometime, all right, if the fourth wave is prolonged, which means if we had a consolidation, 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 which means a time that it takes for the fourth wave to be prolonged, that will indicate to us, that will help us to forecast that probably this is not yet the fifth wave, that if the real fifth wave is underway, we'll have a fifth wave extension. The question that we have today, is this the fifth wave? I don't think so. Why? Because if you look here, the price did not go above the high of this move here. So we cannot call this at this junction as a trend. It looks more like a correction, though it has the structure of a multi way. You can see that it did not come to okay, this high here. And for us, we prefer it even to go above the one three eight point two percent Fibonacci extension of this move from here to here. I think I'm missing some data here, but just apply Fibonacci extension with what we got here. If you have more data, let me know. Apply Fibonacci extension to the price move in this session and highlight the one three eight point two percent Fibonacci extension above it. So as long as this move did not exceed that one three eight point two percent Fibonacci extension, apply to this move here. We cannot call this one okay as a trend. But anything is possible because whenever we label something a fifth wave, uh, that fifth wave can be extended. But the question is, is this the fifth wave or are we going to have a consolidation, all right, during the fourth wave, which means the euro uh, British pound, is it going to consolidate in this session, all right, before we see, okay, the rear a fifth wave bouncing up. All right, so this is the question. So, but at this junction, this is what we are talking about, that the area we count is one step at a time, okay, step by step. So, but with the information that we have today, we we'll say, all right, this is the fifth wave. If this is the fifth wave here, we cannot call all this a trending phase because of what I've already explained to you, talking about one, three, eight point two percent Fibonacci station. And just looking at this high here, it didn't break above that high. We cannot call this one, two, three, four, five, a real multi wave but we will see whether there will be a consolidation here we will see whether we'll have a fifth wave extension or not but as things stand today well is this the fifth wave that is the question are we going to have a, a fourth wave that is prolonged we also know that if the second wave is swift because if the second wave is not uh, did not take too long to be formed to be completed is swift all right, we can forecast that the fourth wave can be prolonged. Sometimes you may not see that, but in theory, if in theory, if the second wave is swift, uh, the fourth wave usually okay is prolonged. But sometimes that is not the case. It's not always the case. So we need to separate the theory from the reality of the market and keep our attention to the price. Remember what I said to you before, how to become a more advanced trader. The most important thing is to interpret the language of the price. More is importantly, use the area wave theory in conjunction with the market stable data. Talking about market stable data, there's something I want to show you here. You can see that uh, the EU uh, British pound was confined in this triangle here. Will you agree? There's a triangle here. 
is the top of the triangle. This is the height of that triangle here. And this is the base of that triangle. So as the euro pop below uh, that triangle, trader use the height of that uh, uh, triangle and project it down. All right. Remember that this is the market geometry using common sense with the area weight theory. This is one thing that a lot of uh, area weight traders are not doing. They are just using the area weight alone. They are not combining the area weight principle, area weight strategies with uh, okay market geometry and other technical trading methods. You need to do that. So as traders project it down, they set their midpoint target here. So this is using dividing this measuring stick into two. We have this one here and the midpoint target that's where okay you see it pop below and the midpoint target is at 070144 so that's why it formed that double bottom chart pattern at the midpoint target so talking about using the area wave principle area wave strategies with the market stable data price does not go up or down for no reason is always headed to a specific target level as it did below this level it head to the midpoint target there was an another ultimate target below far below here all right but now it's going up again it's going up it's not going up for no reason it's going up to a specific target level so where is that target that target is this one here zero nine seven eight three will he reach that target we will see will he exceed that target we will see will he fail to reach that target we will see we flow with the price we concentrate on the language of the price try to interpret the language of the price looking for trading setup in the vicinity of key levels so that's how we want to use our area of trading okay um, step by step all right to improve our forest area wave uh, strategies all right so that's what we see now so there is the ultimate target 09783 and the midpoint target for that uh, all right ultimate target all right is uh, this one here uh, am i correct yes is this one here zero eight eight six two eight zero eight eight six two eight so this is the midpoint target so the price is now at the midpoint target so you can see as he breaks above the midpoint target he went to another mid point target here between the ultimate target and the midpoint target there's another mid point target here that's the orange line here so you divide uh this line you divide this channel the red channel into two and you will highlight the level of uh, zero nine three seven four two so that's where it did find a resistance uh this is about market geometry in conjunction with the area of theory so we have first wave second wave third wave stopping exactly in the zone of uh, zero nine three seven four two he pulled back forming a fourth wave now he tried to go up again he found a resistance there now the question is it is the, the the final fifth wave or are we going to have a fourth wave that is a consolidation before we see the real fifth wave as things stand today we cannot call this a trending phase this is just a corrective wave that is developing but if it breaks the body side we will watch the one three eight point two percent Fibonacci extension level to offer this session here i uh, hope i do not miss too much data here if there is applied and highlight that level uh, normally if before we can ascertain that it's a trend we must break at least above this level and most importantly that one three eight point two percent fibonacci extension level applied to this one that's all we have that's all we can use my friend so let's use it all right so this is about a plain simple step by step forest area wave strategy that way as you can see in this tutorial though we are talking about area wave strategies we do not use any of strategy alone. We use market geometry. We use the market stable data. We pay attention to the price. Nothing should stop you to draw a trend line on your chart and to make decisions along those trend lines. As always, you see a trading setup. Use a top-down trading method to trade it like a pro without cutting corner. If you find this video truly, truly useful, let us know by giving us the thumbs up. If you think this is another disgusting recording, mark it down. If you think it's an essential tutorial, okay, share with your friend on Google+, Plus, on Twitter, and also on Facebook. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the GSTW24 traders talking about plain, simple, step-by-step, forest area wave strategies that work. Is it working for you? Let us know in the comment section. Happy trading to you all and I speak to you as soon.